So someone asked me if Noshiko could ever regain the tales that she expended tracking and trying to take down the Nogitsune in Beacon Hills back in 2011. As you know, if you watched, Kitsune grow in power the longer they live. This manifests usually as tails attached to the fiery thought spirit inside. But in order to use that power for a specific task, the Kitsune will place that tail energy into physical objects. Do you know what it is? A tail. You're first. In Noshiko's case, she collected hers into a set of knives or daggers. She had a lot of them because she was like 900 years old, but she expended a lot summoning and giving the Oni physical form on our plane. As for regrowing her tails, I personally think she cannot, and I believe that for one very simple reason. Her husband acted like she was murdering someone every time she broke one of the knives. You've already sacrificed five. Three of the Oni are gone. How many more tails are you willing to sacrifice? That face right there. For those without a handy dandy facial affect chart, that is a look of extreme discomfort and regret. How many more tails are you willing to sacrifice? He's telling us this is a big freaking deal, and his wife is giving up something rare, precious, and irreplaceable. All that suggests that once a tail is gone, it is gone. She might, in another 900 years, be able to replace a few, but she even says that she was severely debilitated after the Nogitsune fight. Oh, you still Kitsune? Technically. What? It's your mother. No, 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 no. My mom's being taken to the hospital in Palo Alto. She's gonna be okay. Yeah, she just doesn't heal like she used to. If Yoshiko is only technically still a kitsune, I think it's safe to assume she severely weakened herself every time she broke one of those tails.